Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number nine from the Pure Mathematics P4 International A Level at Excel October 2022. Um, this uh, exam and this question is about vectors, a very short question actually. Um, this paper is a bit different from what I normally see. There's actually 11 questions, which is quite a lot of number of questions for P4. However, some of them are very short, like this one. So anyway, it says, with respect to a fixed origin O, the equations of lines L1 and L2 are given by, they've got these two equations, these two vector equations of straight lines. So you have line 1, R equals 2, 8, 10, plus lambda, minus 1, 2, 3, and line 2 is R equals minus 4, minus 1, 2, plus lambda, 5, 4, 8, where lambda and mu are scalar parameters. Prove that lines 1 and line 2 are skew. So we've got to prove that these are skew now. What does it mean by skew? That's the first thing we're going to ask ourselves. Now, two lines are skew, okay, and it can only occur when you have three-dimensional vectors. Skew is when two lines, that they, there's two things, that they are not parallel, okay, so they are not parallel, and they also, they do, they do not intersect. They don't intersect. Okay, so if we can prove that they are not parallel and that they don't intersect, then we have proved that they are skew. Either they're parallel or they intersect or they are skew. Okay, the third option, they are skew, right, where they, they don't basically intersect nor are they parallel to each other because we're talking about three-dimensional vectors now, right? So what we have to do here is prove that these are not parallel and that they don't intersect. Now, the vector equation of a straight line is made up of two parts. You have the first part of the equation of the straight line, which it comprises of the position vector of a point on the line. That's this part here. So that's the position vector that means um, in relation to the origin. So if this is the origin here, and this is a line, say the line is going along like this, all right, then the position vector of a point on the line is basically that first part. So that's how to get from the origin to the line. So that would be the vectors, for example, 2, 8, 10. That would be a point on this line, line 1. And this part of the vector, the second part of the vector here, um, which is this part here, which is, uh, you know, before it, the scalar parameter, this is the direction of that line. Okay, so this is the direction minus 1, 2, 3 would be the direction of, of that line. So if you had um, like a small little section here, okay, that would be a, you know, that would be, for example, minus one, minus one, two, three, minus one, two, three, that would be that vector. And now, depending on what lambda, the value of lambda is, that will take you certain points of the line. So, for example, lambda is zero, you'd end up over here. Just two eight ten is lambda. If lambda equals one, if lambda equals one, you'll end up over here, okay? Which would be this vector plus one times that vector. If lambda equals two, you'll end up somewhere over there, two times that vector. If it's lambda is minus one, you'll end up over here, okay? So basically, this is an equation that takes us along this line somewhere, and where you are along, along the line depends on the value of lambda. So this is called the vector equation of a straight line made up of two parts. A point on the line and the direction of the line. Okay, so that's what um, the vector of equation of a line is comprised of. All right now, so we have to prove that these two lines are not parallel. Okay, so if I compare these two together, that's what's going to help me to determine if they're parallel or not, the direction of the vectors. Okay, so we can see that uh, minus one, two, three, okay, and 5, 4, 8, okay, are not multiples of each other. Okay, if we compare them, if we compare these two, we can deduce that you can't take any common factor out of these two for which that they, these two are going to be um, like uh, multiples of each other. So we can say minus 1, 2, 3 is not equal to some constant times five four eight there's no way you can express it in this form therefore line one and line two are not parallel so that's one thing that we have 
uh, proved we've proved that they're not parallel so that's one uh, point that we proved now we've got to prove that they don't intersect if we prove that they don't intersect then we've now proved that they are skew because that's the only other option so how do we prove if two lines intersect well when they intersect they have the same position vector at a certain point okay so there will be a value of lambda and a value of u, mu which will make these both have the same position vector okay so what we've got to do is we've got to prove that there's no value of lambda mu which will make these two the same so we do that by first of all equating them to each other okay so we say 2 8 10 plus lambda times minus 1 2 3 okay so 2 8 10 plus lambda times uh, minus 1, 2, 3 is equal to, and then we we have minus 4, minus 1, 2, minus 4, minus 1, 2, plus mu times, this is uh, 5, 4, 8. Now from this we can form three equations. We can form the equation 2, minus lambda is equal to minus 4 plus 5 mu that's one equation the other equation is 8 plus 2 lambda is equal to minus 1 plus 4 mu that's the second equation and the third equation we have 10 plus 3 lambda is equal to 2 plus 8 times mu so that's the third equation now we've got to um, try to so what we can do is we can we can solve one pair of these equa two equations we can solve, solve two, uh, two pairs of these equations um, simultaneously so find the value of lambda and mu that satisfies for example equation one and two all right and if that value of lambda and that same value of mu we found for one and two satisfies the third equation then they intersect if the value of lambda and mu we found from the first two equations does not satisfy the third equation then they don't intersect so let's find the value of lambda and mu from equations 1 and 2. So I'm going to um, take this equation and multiply it by 2. So equation 1 multiplied by 2 will lead me to 4 minus 2 lambda equals minus 4 minus 8. Multiply the whole of it by 2 equals minus 8 plus 10 mu. And this is going to be, as it is, 8 plus 2 lambda equals minus 1 plus 4 mu. So now I can basically add these two equations together. That's going to give me 12. That gets rid of the, the lambda. They have the same coefficients. Minus 8 plus minus 1 is minus 9. Plus, and you add these together, you get 14 mu. So you end up with 12 plus 9, which is 21, equals 14 mu. So therefore, mu is equal to 21 over 14 which is um, 7 goes into both of those, 3 over 2. So we have mu equals 3 over 2. And therefore, we can find what lambda is. We can put it back into the first equation. So we have 2 minus uh, lambda equals minus 4 plus 5 times 3 over 2. So we end up with uh, 6 uh, minus, that's going to be 15 over 2, equals lambda so 6 minus um, 7 and a half, that's minus 3 over 2 equals lambda. So lambda is equal to negative 3 over 2. All right, that's uh, 7 and a half. Yeah, that's right. That's like 12 over 2 minus 12 over 2, which is minus 3 over 2. Okay, so that's your value for lambda, and that's your value for mu. So we're going to uh, check equation 3. Okay, so equation 3 is 10 plus 3 lambda equals 2 plus 8 mu. So let's substitute lambda equals negative 3 over 2 and mu equals 3 over 2 into this equation. So you have 3 plus 3 times negative 3 over 2. And on this side you have 2 plus 8 times 3 over 2. So that gives me 10 minus 9 over 2. And on this side, we have 2 plus, that's 4, 2 plus 12. So, of course, they're not the same. Okay, 10 minus 4.5 is um, 
5.5 and that's not the same as 14 okay so basically we can see that lambda equals minus 3 over 2 and mu equals 3 over 2 do not satisfy equation 3 therefore L1 and L2 do not intersect they don't intersect so we can say now to prove it we can say as line 1 and line 2 are aren't parallel aren't parallel nor do they intersect therefore they are skew so you have to mention both that they're not parallel and that they don't intersect and you have to also mention why they're not parallel like i have mentioned here that should be mentioned here that you cannot express one as a multiple of the other so you can show what well, that's what we've shown here okay and we've shown that they don't intersect so you have to mention both of those things you can't just show that they don't intersect and think you're going to get the full marks of this no you have to for something to be um like for two two lines to be skew they have to be such that they don't intersect okay i'll just write this a bit need to do not or don't intersect okay so they have to show that they're not parallel neither do they intersect and then that's how you can prove that they are skew okay so that's the answer to question number nine um, from this October 2022 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from vectors of P4 in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. You can watch the video that's going to show up here to uh, help you find how to uh, use my channel to help your revision and find things you want to find quickly. Thank you for watching and see you soon.